Hello everyone. So I am back with another cheat code array problem solutions video. And today we are going to solve the one of the final questions from the lit code array series. Like I am at the conclusion part and I think this is the third last problem in the lit code array series. So the problem for the day is the third maximum number. The problem number is I think three, two, three, one. I think most of us share these numbers on handles or social handles to identify a problem. So let's start off with the problem for today. Today uh, we are going to solve the third maximum number problem and we have an array jam ready as well. So the problem statement for the problem is given an integer array names, we need to return the third maximum number in this array. If the third maximum does not exist, then return the maximum number. Okay. This makes things clear a bit, but let's just go with an example to understand this better. So we have a new array, let's say three to one. Now what we do is we try to find the third largest element from this series. The first largest element is three, then two, and the third largest is one. That is where the element return is one. Similarly, in this case, we have elements one and two from this. Obviously we don't have third largest element. So the second largest element or the largest element from these two elements is two. That is why the output return is two. And in the third example, we have two, two, three, one. So in sorted order, this will be one, two, two, three. Now there is a statement here, which says that third maximum means the third maximum distinct number. That is why this both values of two, that is two comma two is considered as a single entity while taking the maximum value. And uh, value return is one because the chronological order goes by three, two, and one. A duplicate is ignored. So we have the third largest element as one here. So that's the overall problem statement. And we are going to solve this using JavaScript. Now I'm going to get back into the code jam for first coming up with the pseudocode before I actually start this problem. And there is another uh, condition that can I do this in O of n time? So let's try that as well. Now the first thing which comes to my mind is whenever I am trying to get the third largest element, it would be much easier to get the element if the elements were in sorted order, that is in ascending order from lowest to highest. In that case, what I will do is if the elements are arranged in sorted order, I can just take the third last element from the end. That is there will be the largest element at the end in descending order, second largest at the second last index and third largest at the third last index. So that would make my life uh, quite easy. So in my case, the first uh, thing that I will do is I will first sort my array using some function and I will sort that in ascending order. Once I have my array sorted in ascending order, uh, what I can do is I can return the third last element as my third largest number. I hope the, this is clear. Like if the elements are in sorted order, then obviously the last element will be largest, second last, second largest, third last, third largest. And if just in case my, or if, so this would be if the array length is greater than or equal to three. That is if there are at least three elements, we can go with this approach. If not, that is if length of array is less than three. In that case, what we can do is we can simply return the last element. From the sorted array. Why? Because in this case, let's say there are less than three elements like one comma two. Now, if I sort this, the value will be one comma two as well. And since the third maximum does not exist, I can take this last element from here which is two and I can return it directly. So this will be my pseudocode to solve these first two cases. We will take care of the last, the third example in some time. So let's start off with coding the basic pseudocode first. So we first change this var to const. Make sure to change this language from C++ to JavaScript because we are solving in JavaScript. 
Now there is a function to sort elements in array, which is called a sort function, which we can use to sort an array. So this is a string based sort. And in case of numeric values, we can sort by using a compare function like this. And this allows us to sort the elements in ascending order like this. So we have array name dot sort and this function, which is written a minus b or difference between a by b. So let's start off with that. First, what we do is we take new sort. So this is an in-place operation, so we don't have to declare another array. This will uh, rearrange the same array directly. We write a function, which is let's say e comma b. And I'm going with the traditional function syntax instead of arrow based for now. And then we go with return a minus b. And let's just print out the sorted array values. We go with sorted array. Let's just run this code and check if it is working properly. Let me just resize my browser a bit because it is coming in front of my webcam. Now we run the code. So this is how my sorted array looks right now. The next part of our pseudocode is if the array length is greater than three, then we will return the third last element. So greater than or equal to basically. So we have a condition which is if m dot length is greater than or even equal to three. That is even if three elements are present, we can return the third last element. We need to return the third last element. Now, how do I return the third last element? That is something which we need to cover next. So let's just take this example, which we have right now, which is, this is my sorted elements, right? One, two, three. Now the third last element is at index zero and the length of this array is three. So the conclusion that we can draw is we need to subtract three from the length of the array. And from that we can get the third last element. In this case, the length of the array is three. If I subtract three from it, I will get the index zero which is my third largest element, right? So in this case, we, what we need to return is, we need to return nums uh, element at index. And that index is supposed to be nums dot length, which is the entire length of the array minus three. This will return my third largest element. Now, just in case if the length of the array is not greater than three like this, we need to return the last element. And the best way to return the last element like this is to go for pop method. So pop method basically returns the last element from the right end or the top end of the array. So this is the method I'm talking about. This will basically return the last element from the array. So we can use that to return the last integer. So we can return dot pop as the value. Now let's just check if this works by running the code on the sample case. And as you can see, we have the element written properly, which is one. So this works on the sample case. Now let's try to submit the code and check if this works on all the cases that we have in the entire lead code series. And we have a problem at which our solution is not working. And let's just try to understand where the problem is first. So we have an array, which is two, two, three, one. And the output, which we returned is two, but the expected is one. Now the sorted array values that is after running the sort function here, uh, we get the values one, two, two, three. Now, if we go by uh, our algorithm, what will happen is it will return the element, which is at third last position, which is new dot length, which is four minus three is one. And at index one, we have the value two. That is why the output from our end was two, but the expected value is one, because as I mentioned in this third example, if there are elements repeating like this, we need to consider them as a single entity and not as double entities or uh, entity to be considered while returning the value. Now, how do I uh, overcome this problem? Obviously, the first solution which comes to my mind is I will have to remove the duplicate values. That is from my sorted array, if I remove all the duplicate values, then I will get an array of distinct values. And from that, I can easily return the third last element. Since uh, we need to have a O of n solution, or it's, since we are trying to do a O of n solutions, what we can do is we can declare an array. That is, we can declare another array. 
Let me just reduce the size of it. So to remove duplicates, we can declare a temporary array or a secondary array in which we will push the values from our new set. But every time we make a push, we will check if the secondary array already contains that values. For example, if I'm trying to push one, two, two, three into my new array, I will check whether the element one exists previously or not. Since it does not exist, we will push. Then we will push two. And the current uh, values in the temporary array would be one comma two. Now the next element is two. But since in the temporary array, the two values already pushed, we will skip it and we will get to three and we will push three. By this, all the duplicate elements will get removed. So what we can do is next, we can declare another array which is let's say const nums without duplicates is equal to an array now we run a map function on nums element x and what we will do we will first check if the element is present in the nums without duplicates already. So we have an includes function in array, which we can use. So includes is used to check whether a particular element is present in an array or not. Here is this one. So this will return true if the element is present. It will return false if the element is not present. In our case, we don't want the element to be present. So we will first check whether in news without duplicates, whether a particular element is present. And if it is equal to equal to false, that is the element is not present. We can push a new value in news dot duplicate. So push is used to add an element into an array. So we will push the element. And since this array is already sorted, they will get sorted. Oh, sorry. They will get pushed in the sorted order as well. That is the distinct values will be in the sorted order. And let's just print out our nums without duplicate first before we proceed. Ahead. I think we can comment it out this code for some time. And let's save and let's just submit. Let's just keep this the code. This keep this code uncommented and let's just hit submit so that the code runs on all cases and we will check if in our enums without duplicates, if the values are proper. So the case in which it was failing, we have a distinct value, which is one, two, three. And from this, if I return the third last element, which is at index zero, I will obviously get the right answer. So in our case, what we'll do is we'll replace enums with enums without duplicates in our final code. And I think this should take care of our default test case. We will first try to run in on default test case. Yes, it works. So now we can submit and check whether it runs on all the test cases. So we have an accepted solution. And if you want more details, you can go to the more details section and check how much runtime it takes and how much time it took on all the test cases. And this is where you will get all the details of your solutions. We will cover this section as well in some other video. But for today, I think we are done with the solution part. Now, the last thing that we can do is we can just comment out the console.log statements because we don't need them and we can hit submit. So this will be our final submitted or accepted solution. Now, I'm not sure if the nums dot includes which we have used here, that is the includes method is considered for time complexity or not. If it is not considered, then this nums dot map will have a complexity of O of n and our sort function will also have a O of n complexity. So the overall complexity of this algorithm will be O of n. But as I mentioned, I don't know if this includes will be considered as another uh, cycle or another iteration. In that case, if it is considered, then the solution might be at the complexity of O of n square. But without it, currently the solution will be of time complexity O of n, which was our required goal. So that's it for today's session, I hope. You got the gist of how we can solve this problem. Now, if you like this video, please hit the like button. I will share the Arijam 
which I created here in the description box. And I will also write an article on this if I get time. If you would like to learn from more such video, please subscribe to my channel. And if there is someone who can learn from this videos as well, please share it with them. So that's it from my end. Goodbye, everyone, and have a nice day.